Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is the bell notification. When you hit that and I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. Do yourself, do me a favor and hit the like button. And again, if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. If you need to get a hold of me, please follow the link below. You can schedule an appointment with me with a free consultation. Just follow the link. Go to my webpage in the upper right hand corner and it says book a consultation. I'll give you 15 minutes. Let's chat and see if I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I'm gonna explain what is how to increase insulin sensitivity. Now, before I increase insulin sens sensitivity, I want to explain insulin resistance. So with insulin resistance, you have... Whoops. <laughs> All right, so with insulin resistance, what's going on is that the, the, cell is, the cell receptor is being blocked by having too much insulin being released. So when we eat a carbohydrate meal or any type of sugar, it signals the pancreas to release insulin because the function of insulin is to escort glucose into the cell. And when you're having too many carbohydrates or sugar or inflammation or stress, what's happening is overload. So the cell receptor is actually being blocked. Okay, it's kind of a lock and key, it's not getting it in. So what happens is that the body increases the insulin release. So then it sends a signal to the pancreas to release even more insulin by seven to 10 times. And this is insulin resistant. It's not type two diabetes yet, okay? So this is what happens before. So increased insulin, when you have too much circulating insulin in the system, it also equates to increased inflammation and also weight gain because one of the functions of too much insulin is yes, is to lower the blood glucose levels. However, if there's too much flow in insulin, it's going to store it as fat. So the goal is, what you wanna do, you wanna make your cells more insulin sensitive, okay? So it would lower the amount of insulin being released in the pancreas because the insulin being released by the pancreas is being utilized. Now, just a little review. When, we, when, insulin, when sugar is stored, it's stored as glycogen. 75% of glycogen is stored in the muscle and 25% of it is stored in the liver for later utilization called gluconeogenesis. Okay, but the goal is, is to make your body more insulin sensitive. Now, in no particular order, okay, no particular order, I just put together a list of 10 different ways to make your body more insulin sensitive. First and foremost, diet. One thing I always stress is diet. You wanna fix the diet. The standard American diet, which is full of carbohydrates and sugar, is the causation. So, if you're gonna follow a different type of diet, like the Mediterranean diet or the ketogenic diet, whatever is your liking, or the Atkins diet, okay, I'm not, a, again, I'm not opposed to anyone, as long as you are decreasing the carbohydrates. So first and foremost, you wanna fix the diet. That's goal number one. Number two, veggies. Eat more vegetables, because one of the things that you wanna do is that when you're actually decreasing the carbohydrates, you wanna use the vegetables as, actually, as a filler. And the vegetables are filled with antioxidants, they're filled with minerals, they're filled with vitamins, they're filled with fiber, okay, and one of the things that vegetables have, it has butyrate, which helps the gut lining. Next is stress. Stress. You want to lower your stress levels because the main focus of lowering your stress levels is you want to control that cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that's released by the adrenal glands in the result of stress. And cortisol is actually glucocortisol. So it's a glucose, okay, it's a sugar, which causes an insulin to be released. So the main focus is you want to lower your stress levels to control the cortisol, which also leads into sleep. Try to get more sleep. The best thing you do for your body on a daily basis is sleep. How much sleep? Anywhere from seven to eight hours per night. Sometimes people need nine or 10, or some people can live on six. It's not the quantity of sleep, it's the quality of sleep. You want to make sure you get good quality sleep because what you're doing when you're sleeping, you're lowering, you want to lower the stress levels, which will lower the cortisol, and when you're sleeping, the parasympathetic, the rest, digest, and repair system kicks in. So it's actually you're repairing your body while you're, while you're having the high quality sleep. Next, resistance training. 
Taking walks and yoga and all that other is, that's good. That's something. But the best thing you could do to make yourself more insulin sensitive is some type of resistance training. Why? Because remember, 75% of gluc glycogen is stored in the muscles and 25% is stored in the liver. When you are exercising and muscle building, you're actually increasing the number of insulin receptors on your body, which is actually awesome because now your body is going to utilize the insulin being needed. By, so basically, the more muscle tone you have on your body, the more you're making your body more insulin sensitive. And that's, and that's amazing. Next, again, you want to lower the glucose. Lower your glucose levels by how? Lowering the carbohydrates and sugar, which again leads back into the diet. Next, again, decrease inflammation because with inflammation, remember, it's a stress hormone, cortisol, which is glucocortisol, actually a glucocorticoid, that will actually make your body more insulin resistant. So again, diet, decrease inflammation, decrease glucose. You see how this all kind of adds up. Okay, so the next is, is some supplements. I just put together about three supplements. There's a lot of other supplements you can get out. You, you can get cholinate, uh, omega-3 fish oil, okay? But again, cinnamon. Cinnamon is phenomenal because what cinnamon does, if you sprinkle cinnamon on your foods, it makes your body more, okay, insulin sensitive. And you can actually lose weight. Next, the combination of resveratrol and turmeric. These two products are phenomenal to decrease inflammation, systemic inflammation, and also too, it's good to help control the blood sugar. And then last is acetyl L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine is great because it helps pull the, pull the fat into the cell for energy, which will make, again, which will make your body more insulin sensitive, and that's what you want. So again, you, the main goal is you want to make your body more insulin sensitive, so it's going to be less insulin resistant. You're going to lose weight, control stress, decrease inflammation. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you want to schedule a consultation, please go to my website. Follow the link below. And thanks for watching.